Hello there, welcome to Let's Anime Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how I animate my character behind an object. Usually I paint my backgrounds in layers, especially if my character needs to be behind the object. So like this one. This one was animated separately with the backgrounds so I have uh, the foreground the character and the the background this is the main background and this is the wall background all right so behind the wall will be our main character that is animated so usually I do that to to make appear the characters behind it then i add the other elements like the um, let's say the flash of the gun and the ricochet of the the bullets let's say the bullets there's the bullet and also the ricochet when when the when the character was being shot there so i separate them so usually i do that but this time i'm going to share to you how i animate my character if my background is flattened so my background this one let's make the other elements invisible Let's say this one. My car my background is flattened. See, as you can see here, it's it's not in layer. So in case your background is not in layer, let's say you have an assistant and you he painted the background without anything uh, layered. So you need to find a way to uh, make your character appear behind it. So this is my character, Major Kusanagi who is basically she's in front right as you can see i painted everything and seems like everything is in front so, so you need to make it behind the wall right so one way is to make a transparent mask so let's um let's create a transparent mask we can do it like this you can right click then add transparent mask all right it will create a transparent mask but right now it's not doing anything right so what we need to do is to use a marquee tool let's make the uh character invisible so we can wait a minute let's make the character a little invisible like this right and make the background uh, another maybe 80 percent uh transparent so as you can see our character major kusanagi is needed to be behind the the wall so we need to um make it appear that other parts of kusanagi or the character will be invisible so let's use a marquee tool this is a market tool. We have the selection, the the freehand selection, and the polygonal selection. So we need to um, use this to create a mask. So let's start by selecting the the let's select the the wall. All right. Let's make, start here from the outside, and let's select the entire wall right so we will make a transparent uh part of the character it's not the wall we're gonna make a transparent it's the um it's the wall right let's select it like this and close it there you go after we select it 
we go here all right we selected here and then we will fill it with black all right so you can see we have the black color and the white color so we're gonna fill it with black so we're gonna use uh, shift or maybe we can just flip the background and use the backspace of your keyboard so this will have it turn uh, the selection will be turned into black right as you can see it, it turned into black right so now we have a transparent uh, character let's see now so let's deselect it right let's see how it goes so let's move then play it see everything is now invisible the rest of the frame all right so if we turn it off like this then we play it again it's still there but you know if if we turn on the transparency mask it will be invisible so turn it again then play it now it's transparent so usually we do that and then you can also do this if if your character is is walking on the grass or walking behind a tree right you can do that so that's our um, transparency mask all right uh, i hope it, this is very useful for your animation and hopefully um you can use it for your uh lots of your animation all right so see you next time